This is the Bandai SH Figure Arts Indiana Jones figure from the Raiders of the Lost Ark movie. And it's pretty cool. Got a lot of a lot of playability with this figure. Three different face plates, two different head head parts that you can switch out, one that's made for his just having his hair and one that's for to hold his hat, which is pretty different. Here's the side art. Yep. Yeah. Here's the bottom. If that helps anybody. Pretty cool. Like I said, it's an Asian exclusive. I don't believe this is released domestically. But I ended up getting my hands on a copy. Yep. Shows a couple different looks on here. What you can do with them. It doesn't show the jacketed version on the back, but everything else that's with it. Pretty much. Well, let's get this guy open and check it out. I'm really curious to see how good this guy is. Right out of the box, you have this insert that's a little indie map that shows different continents on it. It's kind of cool. I like this. And then here's the instruction pamphlet, which gives you a pretty detailed instructions on how to deal with all the different parts because it's got a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Pretty good picture, so it should be, even though it's not in English, it should be easy to work with. And then here's the figure in the clam tray with all his accessories. So here's Indy straight out of the package. First impressions are he looks really good. It's a nice figure, very detailed, really cool looking. Yeah, not bad at all. Before we go into, into him, let's look at some of his accessories. So right out of the box, you get three different face looks for him. Here's the one with the smiling face. Yeah. And he's got the head sculpt on him with the hair. And this uses a faceplate system, so these all pop off. This one is the hair part. You can switch any of the three different faceplates to this head with the hair, which is cool. Here's the other alternate faceplate where he's kind of like serious and kind of kind of like smirking or grinning or like determined look. Yeah, and then the one that's on the figure itself where he's just kind of like neutral or kind of frowning. Then you have his leather pouch, which it has some nice details on it. It looks good. Yep, nicely painted buckle. Yep, this is all plastic, but it looks good and it lays underneath his underneath his jacket, which comes off and you can put this underneath. Here's the Staff of Ra top piece that goes on top of the stick that he holds up to get the directions to where the arc is at. And that's pretty interesting. It's got a little jewel in it. Here's the pistol. It looks pretty good. Nice details on it. Pretty much the same on both sides. Here's the Golden Idol. Yeah. Cool looking. Pretty good looking. Nice representation there. Here's the bag of sand that he holds when he's switching out the idol for the sandbag. Pretty basic, but it's sculpted so one of his hands can hold it. You can see the indents here. His hand grips this perfectly. Yep, one of his hands is made to hold that. And here is the uncoiled whip, which is nice. I like this one way better than the Hasbro one, which looked kind of weird. Yeah, this one looks like it's action, like he's whipping it back. Pretty cool. Nice details. And then we've got his hands. He's got a total of, of 10 hands. Two hands on the figure. These alternate arms that you can pop off that have a pair of hands on them. And then he's got six more right here. Idle holding hands, sandbag holding hands, gun holding hands, whip holding hands, pistol holding hands. It's pretty cool. Yep. And he's got this other little alternate piece here. This is, you pop this off pop his whip off and you put this on his waist it's like a little placeholder finally we get to indy i think this looks really good nice looking head sculpts i mean that pretty much looks just like harrison ford it's kind of got a five o'clock shadow kind of looks a little dirty and sweaty yeah that's that's pretty cool looking nice details on the shirt the jacket there's the detachable whip that comes off his belt his holster. Now this gun here, the gun holster is a weird choice. Usually figure arts gives you extra uh, gun holsters like with the gun in it, but they only give you this one and this one doesn't have the gun in it. So that's kind of a weird choice, but it does come off. But yeah, that's 
kind of what the, that's kind of like a weird choice for them usually they give you more parts but they didn't give you an extra holster with the gun in it so that's kind of a weird choice but there's his pants yep boots yep here's the back of the figure nice wrinkles on the jacket pretty cool looking now this is kind of a weird choice as far as like for articulation these are not sculpted back and they're single jointed legs but they have this gigantic gap back here so you can bend them back. It's kind of a weird choice for figure arts, but it is what it is, I guess. But you really don't see them from behind that much, so it's, I guess it doesn't matter much. Going through, articu through articulation, you can look down like that much, up a little bit, not, to, not much. Side to side, good motion side to side so you can get some different looks out of that. Head turns, yep elbows or single jointed elbows no bicep swivel but they do rotate at the joint up here now on the jacket here these are on a ball joint it's a lot not a not a, a, a typical uh what you might call butterfly joint they're on a ball joint but they still swivel and they work hands can go up and down side to side both of the both the wrists they turn looks good yep at the waist he can crunch forward kind of not bad quite a bit actually Pretty good there. That's 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 good. Two different joints down, uh, two different ball joints up here at the top and at the bottom of the waist. So and he can turn side to side, no problem. He can he can go side to side action, twist motion at the at the waist. Pretty good. He's on a barbell system down here. There is no drop down mechanism for the hips, but the legs go out like that far. Okay, as far as like I said, these are on a single jointed single jointed um, legs but they go back because of that deep cut they go back that far which is pretty far not bad and then down here he's got he's a little bit hindered by the cuffs of his pants but his feet go down that far up a little bit you, you do get some rocker a little bit of rocker in and out so that's not bad and then there's toe hinge of course yep not bad. With this jacket on, he can't quite reach across his chest, but when you pop on the alternate arms, it works like a butterfly joint and it has an extra piece up here, so they actually get better range with the jacket off. And the jacket does come off, so you can pop, have it to two different looks as far as the body goes, with just the shirt or with the jacket off. And here's what he looks like with the pouch on his underneath his jacket. Yeah, looks good. I won't lie, this is a little bit fiddly to get these joints out and in, and in place, there's it's they're on a ball socket, but there's two different sockets on this ball system, and plugging it in there is a little bit tricky. But it's it's not too bad, but it takes a little bit of messing with. And here's another look with a different face on it with the hat. Yeah, I think it does look really like Harrison Ford. And here he is with the the smiley kind of smirking face. Yeah, pretty cool. I think that looks good. Not bad at all. Like I said, they have the faceplate system, so the faceplates plug into the front, and there's no seam line like usual like a lot of the figure arts have. So that looks good. Yeah, there's the back. The hair is a little bit little bit shiny. Not too bad, but a little tiny bit. But yeah, that's that's cool. Here he is with the shirted look on. And these these arms have this little cover on here, so they act it acts kind of like more like a butterfly joint and it gives you a little bit better range and you can reach across his chest now which is good so yeah it works good for for uh you know holding things and or just using different expressions but yeah it's pretty cool i like this figure very cool so yeah, you can do a lot with them. It's, is it a little bit fiddly? Yeah, I won't lie. It's a little bit fiddly. Um, getting the, the joints in his sockets when you pop the arms off is a little tricky, but it can be done, you know, fairly easily. Takes a little bit of time, though. And, uh, you know, like like most figure arts figures, it's pretty poseable, has a lot of articulation. But you got to mess with it to get the right look out of it, you know. But you can do quite a bit with this, so it's kind of cool. Pretty nice. Yep, and if you have like a, a, a scene specific, if you have like a, the idol altar, you know, for the for the golden idol, 
you know, it works good where you can put them up and in front of that, have them holding it or switching it out with the sandbag. And I actually have an altar for this guy. It's pretty cool. I'm going to probably do a separate video on that and then see how that looks. Yep. All right. Well, I guess that's about it for Indy. If you uh, liked this video and you stuck around and watched it, I appreciate it greatly. Thanks again for coming by and checking it out. Uh, be sure to give it a, a thumbs up as it really uh, does help the channel, and I appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as it really helps the channel grow, and I really appreciate it greatly. And thanks again, guys, and uh, we will catch you on the next video. Stay tuned to my channel if you if you uh, like to come back, and we'll uh, catch you later, and check out my playlist. I appreciate it. All right, guys, take care. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.